everybody. So today I'm filming a video with Aubrey. That's me. Who's also wearing red. Yeah, we're, we're both wearing hoodies and leggings. Yeah. Yeah, we were literally wearing the exact same outfit. We even wore Vans. Both of us wear our Vans shoes Together. at the same time. So yeah, same outfit. But today I'm going to do Aubrey's makeup and I'm going to try and do it. Whoa, that's bright. Kind of the same as mine a little bit. Like it is currently like half six or something so my makeup's been on all day i did top it up a little i'm gonna try and do it exactly the same as mine he does sometimes let me do his makeup and i love doing other people's makeup and my own also go and subscribe to aubrey's channel on the first line of the description box for you to go and check out what yeah. videos do you film um i do gaming videos vlogs and talking videos about random subjects and by the way if i keep squinting it's because the light hurts my eyes and we're filming in front of a window so yeah that's yeah fine. So yeah, go and check out Aubrey's channel, go and subscribe, get his subscribers up Subscroders, more. they're his called subscribers on my channel. Subscrotums. So we're going to start off and I'm just going to prime his face using this MUA Pro Face Setting Mist thing. By the way, I'm not going to talk too much about the products because that's what I do in a makeup tutorial where this is more like a joke sort of thing. Just face me a little bit more. And I am actually going to try and do his makeup so it actually looks good. Also, I'd like to point out that Aubrey is on four cushions and I'm kneeling down because a lot of people in life can't kneel down. For, like, I could literally kneel down for about three hours straight. Yeah, it hurts my legs when I kneel down. But because Georgie has a bigger torso than me when I sit yeah. on the floor, I'm just like down here. Yeah, because you're sat down, I'm now. Yeah, but I can't sit like that, so. Right. Don't need to. This is foundation, one from Primark. Right, I'm not going to put too much like on near his chin. I'm going to do it as if a guy was going to do their makeup so you wouldn't really put it where you've got like a beard, if you know what I mean. Yeah, because all my little hair's getting messed all up. They've been attacked. That's your title. Attacked. Right, okay. I only did a light coverage because he has fairly good skin. We're going to put a little bit of concealer on and this is just a simple one from MUA. Is it MUA? <laughs> yeah, this whole time I've been saying on my videos, natural collection. Uh, suddenly it just came to me that it wasn't. So I'm just going to put a tad on because, you know, we don't need too much. And, you know, just a few in little, like, spotty areas and stuff like that. Just blend Just, you know. So if I was Aubrey, then this is how I would do my makeup if, you know, he was a guy that did his makeup. Right, so that's the sort of base done in terms of foundation and concealer. Now we're going to use, woohoo, uh, it's bright. <laughs> now we're going to use some powder from Natural Collection. I'm going to take my powder brush and also like when you're powdering, you want to like pat it on rather than brush it on because otherwise you might get rid of some coverage. Get swiped lines. Get your tips here from Georgie Carr. Yes. Georgie's tips. <laughs> Fingertips. Okay, so tip toes. We're now going to use some bronzer. This one's from MUA. It's just a nice big bronzer. Take that bronzing brush and we're going to get bronzing up Aubrey's skin. I am going to take it sort of into his hairline because that's what makes sort of bronzer look a little bit more natural. Face the camera a little more. So and do the same to the other side. Just bronze a little, not too much. Face okay, me. Right, yeah. And then we're gonna take some off his cheekbones. So I'm just gonna do that, and you can kind of see it adds a little bit of definition. Chisel them cheeks. I literally have no definition. You do a little. No. This way. And there's no point in me like putting any bronzer like on underneath his jawline because you know he's got hair on there so that's fine <laughs> i got hair on there i'm gonna add a little bit of contour and i'm just gonna use the same brush i don't usually i usually use a different brush but just for quickness we're gonna use this it's just a little kind of a bit of subtle kind of something something you know not really <laughs> anything too much a little bit of something something. A little something, something. Something, something. now i'm gonna take this bourgeois blusher i don't usually use this because it smells like old people and is that what i had last time yeah 
it smells like old people and also it takes ages to get the pigment like you have to literally go like this like some of my blushes i tap it and there's too much on my brush whereas this that looks pinky it's like yeah this is like fine okay yeah that's fine look it only adds a subtle difference and i'm literally here for like an hour it is a nice blush though don't get me wrong just to give you a warning i might sneeze in a second right okay do you want to look at the camera right i will blend this out by the way ah i like that okay How do you look guys pretty look? damn good pretty damn good if you want to get some makeup lessons with me comment down below <laughs> Right, I'm using this highlighter from W7. It is a gold one. Shimmer. That's the same colour as my butthole. Right, so I'm just going to take some of this. I'm going to add more than I would usually add. Did you? Yeah. When you tapped that, the entire world came to dust. Oh. There's so much dust. Glow commotion. <laughs> the more I glow. Hmm. <laughs> That highlight though, look at that highlight, woo! It's oh, like boom, boom, boom! Oh, that is actually pretty good. That's, that's exactly crazy. what I said last the, time. Yeah, that's mad. <laughs> yeah, a good <laughs> highlight, Keds. It's a tad powdery though, but you know, we can get past it. Do you want to face the other way? Mm -hmm. Bam, bam, bam! Am I booming? We're gonna, yeah. We're gonna take some down your nose. On the tip of your nose. Cupid's bow. In a corner. Face me, in a corner, brow bone, brow bone, face the camera, and now I glow. glowing. I like this cheek, it's good. Yeah, it's like a... Oh. <laughs> right, we're now going to do brows. Aubrey's got quite good brows anyway, so I think if you're doing a guy's makeup and they've got good brows, you don't want to mess around too much because you can end up ruining the look. I got good brows. Though. I'm using this product that was sent to me by Born Pretty, and it is like a tinted eyebrow thingy i do have a code for their makeup so i'll leave it on the screen now if you want to get some money off i believe it's like 10 percent or 15 percent or something like that so i'll leave the code on the screen go and click that check it out on their website um i'll link their website down below as well okay so i need to get product out because the pump doesn't work that was the only issue with one of their products is the pump doesn't work so let's delve in oh my god i delved in and it covered the brush it looks like poo so again it's just kind of making them a little bit darker we're not really changing the shape as such okay you can't really tell much of a difference if i'm honest it's this one here um it probably didn't help that my head's like really small subtle next eyebrow so we're just going to shift through like that <laughs> right now we're going to go into eyeshadow. I'm using the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice Eyeshadow Palette. I literally mention this so much on my channel. It's like the best thing I've ever bought. It's amazing. It's a great eyeshadow palette. Um, so he wants the same look as me. So I'm just going to do what I've got on my eyes. Again, I am going to do looks using this palette. So don't worry if you, you know, if I'm not really speaking about what I'm doing or what shades I'm using. Um, because I will be doing videos using these eyeshadows. So don't panic. So I am going to start with the shade Cookie Dough, which is this one here. And this is a perfect transition shade. So pass me your lid. So we've just added a little bit of definition in the crease. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Chocolate Orange, which is this one here. And I'm going to pop that all over the lid. There's a bit of fallout actually, so I will need to sort that out. Look up. Okay, cool. Is it good? Yeah. Good. Other side. I'm not going to do any eyeshadow on the lower lash line because that does make Aubrey look a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've got yeah. some on my lower lash line. It doesn't suit me at all. No, it doesn't. Okay, so that's what it looks like with that shade <laughs> on. <laughs> do I look right? Yeah. And now I'm going to take the shade Cheesecake, which is this one here. <gasps> and I'm just going to deepen up the crease a little bit. Cheesecake. So we're going to pop that sort of in the crease, like the outer corner. And then the same with the other side. I don't even like cheesecake. Right, okay. Right. 
Um, now, I didn't do it, but I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Romance and just put a little bit of that on as a little bit of shimmer. My face went so dark when you put that up. Oh, yeah. Just a tiny bit of that. Oh God, I can feel the fallout on my cheeks. Yeah. Am I pretty? Pretty! I'm pretty. He's pretty! Guys, I'm pretty. He's pretty! That was forehead. Ah. Right, we need to get rid of this fallout, boys. Yeah. The light doesn't do me justice. We'll show them properly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we are going to use mascara. I'm using this one. It's the Rimmel Scandalized Wow Wings. Sent to me in my Rimmel Vox box. Go and check that video out. I'll link it in the description. I'm only going to do the top lashes because it's what I do to myself. It didn't suit me. Make me a little. I'm only going to put a bit on because it's difficult for me to do someone else's mascara. Sorry, I keep moving my eyes. Fine. So that's one side. All these lashes are quite straight, so they don't curl round or anything. So, you know, mascara doesn't do much. Okay, and then to finish off, I'm going to use this lipstick here. It's a high shine lip gloss from Primark, and this one's in the shade... I don't give a damn. No, I don't know what the shade is. Poo. I don't think there is a shade, but it's like a brownie colour. I got it on my lips today. So, let's pop this on. That clump's really doing my head. <laughs> Pretty, pretty, pretty. Right, and then we're going to finish off with some setting spray. I'm using the collection Primed and Ready Setting Spray. Close your eyes, brace yourself. Okay, that'll do. And then I like to always blend my setting spray out with a little kind of. Damn it! <laughs> Put that in the lipstick. Never a great move. Duty. Okay, this is the finished look. Apparently I'm sexy now. So what do you think? Do you think I'm sexy? I think Aubrey's highlighter is stronger than mine. I like it. <laughs> oh, hang on, it's about to cut off. <laughs> Back on. So yeah, this is the finished look. I'll bring you in closer. So that's what it looks like front on. That highlighter though. So yeah. I think I look decent, to be fair. Yeah. But you always do it good. Look at me. It looks better in real life. Let me try and show it from my angle. Yeah, camera. like that. That looks better. Yeah. Don't you think that looks good? Ooh. That looks nice. So yeah, this is Aubrey's makeup. Looks quite... I'm like the skin's now. quite natural. Like he could definitely, you know, get away with that without people thinking, you know, you've got loads of makeup on. Eyeshadow wise, you know, not too much. So... This is the end of the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to go and subscribe to Aubrey's channel. I'll link it down below. His channel's called Orbinator. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, go and subscribe. And also subscribe to my channel, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye. I'll see you later.